So I've just finished work. Now, why do I always have the worst luck when it comes to toilets? So tonight, I needed to go. Now, it was only just a number one. Now, for those who don't know what a number one is, a number one is a wee. Number two is a shit. Okay, put it bluntly. So I need to go for a wee. Now, I personally don't like using the men's trough. Okay, now, for those that don't know, a men's trough is just a, a thing that you piss on. Okay, so you stand up there. It's like generally like an aluminium sheet or whatever the fuck it's made of. And you piss on it and then it goes down the drain. Easy. Now, I don't like that because I like to wipe it dry, if you know what I mean, after I've used it. Not the trough, my, my own appendage. So I use a cubicle. Now, I go into the toilet and the previous person who was there before me had done the stinkiest motherfucking shit in there. He had flushed it, you know, the toilet was clean, all that sort of shit like that. There were only two cubicles, it was either one or the fucking other. And the stench was that fucking bad that I couldn't tell which one it was actually from. So, I go into the cubicle, and I'm like, fuck this stinks. Now somebody else has come in directly after me. And I'm like, shit! Because I then now have to walk out of that cubicle... And this cunt is going to think that it was me. Now, <laughs> you walk out, I mean, like, what can you say to that? Like, seriously, you walk out of the, you walk out of the cubicle, I'm in fucking uniform, I've got my badges on and everything, and he's looking at me like, fucking hell, something caught up your ass and died. You know, like, what can you actually say or do in that sort of situation? You, if you say, oh, no, that smell wasn't me, mate. That's going to make that bloke believe you more. I mean, sorry, not believe you more. You know, he's going to think that you were the fucking stinky cunt, right? So, yeah, so this happened to me, and it's like, for God's sakes. Now, I could have just stayed in the cubicle and waited for this other guy to piss off. But, you know when, like, you're in the toilet and you hear somebody doing this shit and you're like, fuck me, what are those sounds coming out of that person's ass? And a part of you, you know, wants to know who that was, so you subconsciously take note of who's coming out of the toilet after you, especially if there was only one other person in there with you. I don't know if lots of people do that. I don't normally do that, but sometimes, like, I want to see who's done that fucking horrific shit, so I'm like, ah, you dirty motherfucker, right? But in this case, yeah, it was me. Not that did the shit, but, like, if I came out, people would be like, oh, you dirty motherfucker. Damn, that guy's going to serve us drinks. Yeah. Or bring food to our table. Yeah. But yeah, always happens to me. Like, what are you supposed to do? You walk in the, oh, that stinks. Fuck it, I'm out of there. But then if you're walking out, the moment some other cunt's walking in, or somebody sees you walking out, and they go in next, like, two, you know, five seconds later, they're still going to think it's you. I've got the worst luck with that shit. Oh, dear. But anyway, what are you going to do? The Hospitality Diaries.